Yeah, we left off with you all getting back to Sanctuary after finding a teleportation circle and activating it. Um, Tom got to experience something with John and affected him pretty well. <laughs> Sticks is going to be buried in paperwork. Yep. And planting some plants. And I believe we are looking for a ladder. Come on. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. I figured we were past that point, but okay. Yeah, uh, you haven't hung you haven't hung it up yet. But the, the, the ladder was a good good point for me, or a chasing point for me, because I figured if if you're going to climb up the side, side of the tower, um, we can at least start with some athletics or acrobatics. Rolls for... Um, Rain, I'd say, because you're the one who's trying to get your stuff planted, right? I mean, I would definitely defer to somebody that's a better climber than me. 100%. <laughs> okay. okay I, 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 I'm just asking whoever whoever's going to climb. Um, if, if we're going to have Crick's climb, if Taylor will do an ac ac acrobatics roll for her. I'll rage and I'll do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can put a feather fall on whoever's going up there. That way, if they fall, they ain't gonna get hurt. I also raged because I get advantage. I mean, it's also got a 60 foot range, so I guess I could pass it on them if they fall. Yep. Yeah. Well, fuck. I could also just use mold earth and make steps. 13. <laughs> 13. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> You get about halfway up and start sliding back down. You don't fall. But it, it it takes you longer than you thought it would. Um, but you do eventually get up there. Yeah. So. Yes? Yeah. So. So, after our flower is planted on our highest point of elevation, I know some right after that are going to go back to the rooms. What are we doing? Who, who are we seeking out? Or are we ready for the next step? In our process. Well, it depends um, on I what mean, time it is. For the most part, I think. It's, I'd say, middle of the afternoon. Okay. Ow. How long is paperwork going to take? Hmm, that's a great question. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> you got, like, another ten hours of paperwork? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I rolled a D10 for it. <laughs> okay. uh, That's fine. I probably would have just used the instant plant growth uh, and uh, all normal plants within a 100 foot radius of that plant now is thick and overgrown. All... I have no idea how tall the tower is, so... Just on that plant? I can do it just on that. Or I can focus anything within a hundred okay. foot radius. <laughs> but uh, for now, it's just quick. I want to just make sure that plant itself is doing good. Um, so I'll just focus on that one for now. I have plans for the rest of the building later. 
But then I'll go to paperwork after that, so I will be busy. Yep. Um, come on. Tom would also, Tom would just want to do like a general, you know, he did his initial tour. Um, he's probably been doing some more introductions and um, here and there, but he'd like to take a general temperature as he walks around like, what is the vibe at Sanctuary right now with the new recruits? How do the existing folks feel? How do the new recruits tend to feel? Yeah, I, I thought that was going to just switch me over. And <laughs> took a minute. No worries. I'm sorry, Tom. What, what was your, what, just, your course yeah, of like action? A, yeah, a general temperature check over um, the, probably over the course of an hour or so, um, seeing how the the new recruits seem to be, what is their general vibe, and then what's the vibe of the existing sanctuary members? All right. Uh, roll insight. I'll take it. Uh, a nine. Everything is perfect. Just swimming along. Good, as it yep. should be. Yeah, and the, the, the new recruits seem hopeful and happy, and the veterans um, seem warm and welcoming. If there's anything you'd like to do with the rest of this thing, by all means. Otherwise, we will skip forward to about another day and a half. And over well, the day and a half, I guess I would have been helping doing some of the training with the new group. All right. Yeah. Yeah, if we're doing a day and a half in the morning, Styx would have uh, spent eight hours doing plant growth on the entire sanctuary. So when, if she spends eight hours doing it, um, I can enrich the land. All plants within a half mile radius centered on the middle become enriched for one year. So they'll yield twice the normal amount of food. All right. But that takes eight hours. I think you'll have time to be able to do that. Okay. Right. Since we have a lot of people now, she wants to make sure that we can feed them all. Sanctuary, sanctuary smells a little bit more like fertilizer. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she would have been pretty much just walking around and spend a lot of time in the garden. Valenthian, how are you going to go about helping training? Or at least on that first day of training. Probably just showing them proper use of weapons so they're not hurting each other or themselves. Tom would want to sidekick that as well. Okay. Mostly watching, uh, but ready to assist if needed. I'm going to call the, the athletics with advantage since Tom is to assist. Just to see, you know, how well you're demonstrating. Twenty-one. Your form is immaculate. And so as your muscles glisten in the sunlight. <laughs> when we get to about lunchtime, 
Alaric's going to ask you all to come up to the meeting hall. Don't do that. Ask you all to come up to the meeting hall. And you'll see Var there. You'll see Kirashio there. You'll see Jonda there. And one new face, but you've seen before, which is Elizabeth from The Daring. Because they had arrived shortly before the meeting. So, you have even more veteran, more veteran adventure, yeah, adventurers now. Yeah. And Melari's gone. Look at y'all and say, hey. Um, so, for the, uh, you know, we were just discussing the next leg of your recruitment. Um, we've got a little bit of time. We can construct your route on on a um, three-month timetable. Uh, at all? Huh. You're not going to... Above board, we're not doing a three-month travel. <laughs> um, Why not? There's going to be... There, 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 because <laughs> there's going to be some time skip there. Yeah. But... Uh, you know, because we, we would like you to travel by land. Stopping at towns along the way, of course. Uh, ending at the capitals of the different peoples. So, Sechak Savar, Farasia, Termina, Is there any place in particular you'd rather go first? Is there more map that I can't see or something? I would pull it up if my computer wasn't being shitty. Well, I see Termina, but I don't see either of the other two you mentioned. Yeah, look, um, look to the right for, of Termina. Yeah, for it should be like I think right and south, if I'm remembering. So it should Inside be like the east waking woods east. is the entrance there. And the yeah, SHR Savar should be there. Okay, now I see him. My eyes were not falling in the right spot. <laughs> so, um, Sachar Savar is Dark Elven. Um, both Termina and Phrasia are Elf. Elven. Mm hmm. Um, what you know about Termina is Termina is more the mixed area where for for Asia is elves. Hmm. Termina is like the big port city, the big trading hubs. Just make a circle. For Asia is close, ish. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Plus, I don't want to go. I don't. I don't want to go. You just don't <laughs> want to go. <laughs> One, we've already done this, and I think it's it's ridiculous. We have to do this again. I think that Tom and I did pretty okay getting people here, but to do this again is a waste of time. But also, I do not want to go to a Saint Jack. I, I'm I'm okay. Huh. When uh, when Alaric is like talking about this, what is the final missing? Like, what is the final 
Objective. result that it seems like he wants to see. Um, numbers. <laughs> Pretty much the the result is we want you know bodies on the ground, arrows in the air. If we're going to have the possibility of fighting a Sharangar. Mm-hmm. Mm. And perhaps, you know, a, f- a few more spellcasters to be able to assist with that. Huh. So it's like we just finished the uh, the Europe tour and now we're going on the, the North American tour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there, uh, so you've only gone essentially two two directions, which was Rykonos. The, you went the Rykonos route and the Giant route. Um, yeah. Now, if you if you want to make an argument that you're properly prepared, you can by all means make the argument. Oh, Tom doesn't know that. <laughs> I can't make that argument. I was told otherwise. So, <laughs> <laughs> by one amethyst dragon. So yeah. See, I'm I'm think <laughs> I think sticks would rather go to the elves because they might have more information and lore on Ashengar and have more better ways of maybe dealing with them. just seems elf magic might be more better suited for this. No, why would, would elf be magic be different from regular magic? They're older. Or, or dark elf magic for that matter. Or that. I'm just thinking they might, they're long lived, they'd have more histories that might help. And we kind of they don't hate us there much. Uh, We've helped a little. Well, or at least tried. I'm getting mixed sentiments on the "we're not hated by the elves" thing. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to warn them about something. They didn't yeah. believe us, and then someone tried to steal something. So we were right, and they were. Plus, there's daddy issues mm. that come into play. And there is lots of them. Stuck up snot, snotty snots. So. Don't know. But at least we, we'd be received, I think, a little better there. Well, they at least know who we are. Yes. They have seen us before. Correct. But they are a stubborn bunch. <laughs> As long as Neam doesn't go with us, I think we we would be okay, probably. Yeah. <clears throat> well. Does Alaric have a idea where he'd rather have us go first? Or he just doesn't really seem to care? I was going to suggest passing through the Dark Hills first, and then Termina to Phrasia. So you're making a nice big loop. I don't think so. Uh, one, you sir, are forgetting about the Waking Woods. Fun, but not for many. Also, it is way off the beaten path. Also, I don't want to go there right now. <laughs> uh-huh. Rin, would, would I like the Waking Woods? No, nobody does. I mean, fun. <laughs> it's it's is a good time, yes, but n- no, no. Oh, it's I don't fun. even think the sheep would like the waking woods, but oh, fun, fun in the in the the killing brutality way. It's more like <laughs> a kill or be killed type of woods, yes. Oh, to get the blood pumping. Okay. They mean. Waking woods for a reason, yes. There's well, many reasons. That's but... Just about everywhere, kill or be killed. No. No, I'm, there's there's nicer places. Home where I am from is nice. Those are the only three places he wants us to go, though. 
it's the like big three. It, pretty much, it's naming off capital cities. Uh huh. So, yeah. Because uh-huh. you've already hit right Yeah. So it, it, it's it's really hitting off hitting the big capital cities. Stop. You know. When you when you stop in town for the night, you know, put essentially putting a help wanted poster up and Ooh, skedaddle. Has anybody been to the Bandit Lands? No. So Not are yet. we just trying to recruit numbers? Or are we trying to recruit experienced people so we can get this going faster? Both. Because it's two very different strategies. Experience is, you know, always better. We just uh-huh. brought back a bunch of people that are humans, number one, and have zero experience. So there's that. Right. <laughs> Some have. So is it but, more? That's, I mean, but, that's, that's what Zaz is asking. Is it more of that? Or are we looking to find some... Are we looking to attract talent from maybe other guilds or um, armies or uh, elite schools or, like, what are we looking for? Well, and that that would really be the big reason for wanting to go to the capital cities. Okay. You know, if you know the the, the leagues are going to be in the capitals. If you, if we're wanting spellcasters, they're going to hang around the big cities, not the small hamlets. Huh. And oh. is she coming with us? I'm going to point to Elizabeth. Hmm. Why? Just curious as to why she's here with us. Oh, because she came here. We when we went to the uh, Rykonos, we remember we went to that was the them. other guild, and we said, "Hey, who wants to come?" I forgot that was, that was the Guild. That was okay. a good get. Yeah, okay. uh, Tom. When we were in Rykonos, how come we did not yes. try and speak to the other guilds that are the big three? Mm. I come to think of it, I don't recall. We were I summoned back be here. Both of you roll a history. We were summoned back here quite quick. Well, yeah, but I'm thinking, like, while we were there, I feel like we probably would have, like, at least tried to, like, plead, like, common enemies, you know? What did you say, 16? history? Yep. 16. History. 16. 14. 14. I think I remember. Um, well, Joe, if you remember, you, by all means... Um, well, let's see what a 16 gets me, and then I'll tell you. A, a, a 16... Is you 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 remember the stories of the big three, where if someone else tries to go through purgatory, they just yes. go ahead and kill the guild. I remember that because they wait at the end of the purgatory. The end is sort of in the middle, and they wait and they just yeah. womp them. But so the reason was just... is that we <clears throat> we didn't want that kind of a group. With us, or we didn't think they were going to help us, or we didn't ask. Um, I... More, more. It's that if you're trying to poach their members, they're probably going to kill you too. No, I don't think that that would have been our purpose. I think that like our purpose would have been like we have a common enemy to join yeah. in the dragon. So like when the fight comes, would you be would you be down? We sh- you know sharing of spoils and things of like that. I don't think we were going to try and poach members. At least that wouldn't have been my intention. I wouldn't I wouldn't care. Yeah. I think it was, yeah, more, we're doing this, we could use the help, you want to join us, or no? Right, there's there's riches for all type, yep. type deal. He's so if that's out, the he's... case, and we're not quite ready, shouldn't that be a, a later step, or maybe should that be something that Alaric does through guild leadership type of he deal? He won't do that, he asked us he, to do that. Yeah, he, he doesn't like nah. to do anything himself. He, he asked you to go to Rykonos for the daring. Right, yeah. but I mean... I feel, maybe perhaps we make a big circle and we stop in Rykonos and speak to the the big three and just say this is what it is. Um, mm-hmm. Pitch the loot idea since they seem to be be real big on that and see if they will join us when that day comes. If I, you guys think it's to, worth it. I also recall that I I think Goliath absorbed uh, pretty much anyone smaller than the Daring. Uh, Yes. Any other little stragglers. Um... Right, but I'm talking about Endeavor, the Burning Heart, and Belair. Oh, yes. The big three uh-huh. there. Big three. Yeah. So uh, 
maybe there could be a like a some sort of uh like a meeting of the four families uh a sanctuary um the big three uh well, I was going to say the five families, but um, I, I feel like Goliath probably shouldn't be there. Yeah. Uh, no I mean, Goliath. I don't trust. They, they are that... still our allies. Yes, I don't trust that smell. That guy that smells of the death. But I do know of Natasha, um, of House Duval. I, I know her. We are. <laughs> Uh, n- so neutral? do we want to? So, yeah, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Having dealt with fringe communities and things like that, we sometimes saw better success at the circus if we had sent forerunners ahead to kind of mix and mingle with the common people and get an idea that a circus was fun, blah blah blah. You know, kind of let it all kind of spread word of mouth and then show up a couple weeks later and then everybody's expecting us we would seem to get more turnout that way if you want to try something like maybe a two-prong approach have the leaders talk and try and spread it amongst the common members so they're kind of talking about it and it kind of spreads through word of mouth kind of deal no i think that's what the sheep was trying to tell you is the the leadership on behalf of sanctuary won't speak it will be us unless yeah. it's the sheep yeah. Well, well, I, well, the sheep I, I, I will tell you, you're, you, y'all are kind of the forerunners. Where, mm-hmm. or, or yeah. the the original plan is that y'all go through the towns, and then the other officers come back behind you and pick up the people who are interested. No, so, I, so we're the we're the front running group that's supposed to kind of. Hit up multiple. Yeah, you're, you're making you're then, making speeches, and then have yeah. then have people mull it over in the back of their heads for a little yeah. while. Yeah, what you were thinking was us go to, to the up. guild leader and have him come to sanctuary and talk to Alaric himself. Yes, I don't mind yeah. the right. idea. Though. I like because the idea. The leader, the leader might not recognize you know because yeah. you're not <clears throat> the leader leader. Oh, but not if we, could, no. <laughs> we could even. I mean, even if it's just us going and. In extending the invitation to the other leaders, and yeah. then also hanging out in the bars and talking to the common people of the guilds and stuff like that, so it kind of gets talked about. People get hungry for the loot or whatever they're hungry for, glory, whatever battle. Yeah, I think the idea, perhaps, of sending a head word to Reikonus to the big three that perhaps we want to meet with them is not yes. bad. Yep. Sure, we send them a letter, then we show up, extend an invitation to have a, a conclave, what, or what, what you call it, um, yeah. at a neutral location for Alaric yes. and the other leaders to meet and talk and discuss this. Or yes. have someone do a sending to the leader first to see if we're invited to come and talk. I'd, yes, I'd whatever, like to, whatever the trip. protocol is. Yeah, I'd Zest like to... Just offering suggestions like, you know, how many yeah. prongs do we want to approach this from? It's either that or we just uh, go past the guild and just go to the common folk. I, I'm not sure that would be the right way to Probably go. Probably not. Want, well, I mean, that's, that's another question you had. Are we trying, is this a long-term thing? Are we looking at taking him out in the next five, ten years? Or are we looking at taking him out the next, you know, year, 18 months? Yes. Is this a well, five-year well, plan or is this a 18-month This is a... Plan? As soon as possible, plan I think. Ah, okay. Because we know that is a multi-prong approach. Because we already know that the dragon's slowly starting to gather. He's a collecting lot. the weapons and trying to yes. break out of his break himself out. Yes. Of his okay, prison, so we're, so to speak. we're in a rush, so we should probably get the leaders together, and yep. we should rouse the common folk, and we should prod the lower echelons of the guilds in action. Ideally, yes. And- uh, Alaric, I have, I have a question for you. Uh, yes. If we can uh, set the table, so to speak, with, with the big three, uh, w- will you go? If if there is, um, I don't know if it will be Rykonos itself, but um, if there can be, an, a, as it's been outlined, a, like a neutral location and the big three will come, uh, w- would you go to represent... Um, 
to represent Sanctuary. Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. That could be something. Yep. Um... Meathead, your um, group there, they are they are good to join in as well, yes? Trying to recall, it's been so long since we've talked about that ally. Would they come if I you're called? I know we had the support of the Giants. We had okay. a couple emissaries here from my home. <clears throat> And I believe so they it was. Be willing. This, they. I think what it came down to is would they fit through the caves because they were so tiny. Well, magic can fix that problem. Hammers, too. Also, the sheep has mold earth, like yep. she has well, mentioned. That would be a magic option. There's, we could either increase the size of it through magic, or we could make the giant smaller till we got them where they needed to be, or, you know. A combination of all of the above to speed the process up when it comes to that point. And that's why we would want more magic users, right? To help not only in the fight, but also to prep for it and to do all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> yep. I have a quick uh, history question for... Mm -hmm. History quick check question probably for Tom. So, uh, being from like the Riverlands. Tom is, is, is thinking, everyone's talking about ways they can contribute and allies. Um, there is no... There wouldn't be any reason for a trip out there. There wouldn't be any main um, like destination or main group or something out there to target for recruitment. Like, it's very agrarian. It's very simple. Um, well... Let me see if I can get the map pulled up here without it crashing on me. Like you have uh, Tikaj, Silvar, and then Lake Magnus, and then the river. Yep. Well, there's another group of people in the Riverlands, which may or may not help. Oh, come on. Do 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 do. Are there any of the churches that exist? Uh, do they have any like militant arms that could be recruited for this as well? Uh, well, the Riverlands, uh, you will also have um, the orcs. Mm -hmm. um, where. I don't know if I have this in the background of it. In, in the original lore, uh, the, the orcs still uh, are the main people who practice the slave trade. Mm. But in the last two decades, orcs have been coming out into the common society and joining the common society. Kind of like mm -hmm. where the Dark Elves in the, in the last 50 years have been. As well. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. So there's still like a rare sight. They're they're not super rare, but okay. it's more. It's you're not gonna see. You're not seeing like groups of orcs. You're certainly seeing stragglers. Gotcha. But you know the orcs are plenty strong. Come on. But probably so. don't really care that much. But Voss could probably help you in that. Yes. Yep. I think Tom doesn't even think to bring it up right now. <laughs> I, I, that's why I was looking at the bandit lands. I was trying to think of if, if anybody knew who, 
obviously bandits, but you know, yeah. if they were, <laughs> if they were like, we could like l lure them with the prospect of loot or like whatever, if, if bandits would, would also assist or not. I don't think they'd be trustworthy though. That's the problem. Many aren't. No. Yeah. Well, what I don't they... think once we get all these different groups together, I have a feeling it's going to fall apart into warring factions after the common goal's done anyway. That's fine, presumably. I, I don't... I mean, Sanctuary was, was... Correct me if I'm wrong, Alaric, but it's content being somewhat small. I think... After the task is completed... Well, it sounds like we're trying to get together like a a war party, war um, a war a band, table, whatever, a war band where we're banding together to do one thing, and then once that's done, there's no agreement holding us, kind of thing. Yeah. So we wouldn't be recruiting all these people into sanctuary; you'd just be recruiting them to the cause. <laughs> But the more we uh, get the word out what we're doing, the sooner uh, the dragon and who his cohorts will find out about it also. Seems quite smart. It's probably someone we should probably try and keep an eye on. Uh, Alaric, do we have any, like, um, <clears throat> anyone, uh, any operatives in the area? On the Sharangar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we're, we're, we're keeping an eye on it. It doesn't seem like anything has changed yet. Okay. And there has not been a sign of that gay. That's a good thing, at least. But yes, um, the bandit lands. I, I would be cautious. Um, I'm, I fully support going there. I, I would just be cautious on who you decide to invite. Uh -huh. um, and let's open up. Stop. Nah. Um, I'd be cautious of who you decide to invite. It's also really close to uh, to the Shargars then yes. I mean, relatively um, of course so are the orcs if we did that um, probably smarter to stay around here first and then branch out mm -hmm. and that's kind of what I was thinking and let's see we're, we're right there but yeah um, with Croatia then Termina then Sechuk Savar I think that's a perfectly suitable idea if if we really wanted to we could try the also the Elves of Amity Which is on the second map if you look into the DM stuff. Uh -huh. um, they should be near the jungle. Are oh, there yeah. fun and games? What's up? Are there fun and games? <laughs> oh, haha. <laughs> Took me a second. Well, uh, Alaric, if we were to. Uh... If we were to make this little tour, um, would it be possible to also, at the same time, be taking steps towards contacting the big three, uh, sending the first letters, and, and seeing if anything comes of it? 
I'm not saying we go to Rykonos, but you know, if, even if we're going to uh, Phrasia first, that um, we know letters are being sent from here to uh, establish contact there because I, I hope we can do good work in in Phrasia and, and Termina, but I still just have this feeling that uh, if we could lock something down just for this one task with even two of the big three, that could be more profound than, than anything else we're going to do. Yep. Okay. Um, I, I'm amenable to this. I know it's, it, it, it's, it's a planning session, but we're getting to the sandbox part. Of yeah, y'all's stuff. Um, yes. Um, I think it's a good idea. It's a good start. That, that is correct, uh, Jeremy. It just now popped up on my shit. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Yep. Well, that means we only have the help of two giants who may or may not go over to Arangar's cave. The third was only a relay between my father and Sanctuary. Okay. Well, so, um, for this, for these trips, um, I will tell you my travel plans for you. And that is that you are going to ride hard, ride fast. And once you reach the key locations, another officer of Sanctuary will trade out and accompany you for any assistance you might need. So there'll be a resupply point. There'll be, you know, the, the, the fresh face to keep the timeline on track. So, like, when you go, when you go to Termina, make that little leg. Amvar is going to accompany you. For so, Asia. I guess... Yep. The question is, is whatever direction we choose to go, um, are we going to have a list of teleportation circles we can teleport to and then like use those as resupply points and go from there? Or are there not enough of those? Or, or there's, what? There's, not, there's not that many teleportation circles, um, at least known. And so the... Uh, your resupply points will essentially be the, the big cities too, where there is a teleportation circle. Well, right. Um, and uh, just so I understand, for each place we're going, our main, uh, our, our first choice is to recruit them into Sanctuary, but our second choice is to uh, identify allies that uh, I suppose the giants might be a good example not part of the guild but ready to call upon when needed yeah okay are there any um uh, what am I trying to say uh, historical or cultural reasons why we shouldn't go to any particular place like ones that were historically aligned with the dragon um, or ones that are absolute bitter enemies of the dragons kind of like the giants um, well the cool part is that there's not there's really no one that's aligned with the dragons like on a nation basis but there's probably yeah. pockets all like, over the place yeah, but as far as a nation no nations aligned with dragons um 
the let's see the the dark elves are their own entity uh, entirely entirely and that's why it'd be good for you for Ren and for uh, Jonda to help you clear a path through through say Jack Savar the elves are of Ferasia are you know they're haughty people um Neon would be your best choice to help you get through Ferasia Vara being from Termina can help you get through Termina Boss can help you with Thor clans and the Riverlands and if you're wanting to do the Bandit Lands as well, I think we could spare Kirashio for that. But yeah, uh, the Orcs, a little bit more weary of the magic, uh, considering they had gotten out. Their last war was about 20 years ago. Yeah. And... Oh. Go ahead. I will tell y'all because I know I I know this sounds like a big grueling <laughs> freaking like oh my god thing. And this is above board. If you want to if you want to send just one of the random officers, you can do that. And we're gonna make some rolls for it, and that's it. <laughs> But that's an option. Just so you know. Well, I think that would be more up to a lark. Um, us, personally, I think we work better together to persuade people instead of just sending one person. Um, yeah, I'm saying, like, if you wanted to send uh, just Voss to the Orc lands. Yeah. Because he's an Orc. Like, you could do that. You know? And... I'll make some rolls for it. No problem. That'd take him a long time to there and back is quite a bit. But it would be less than us going to each one of these five locations that we're outlined. Yes. Um, yeah, as long as like he had like at least he wasn't going alone, he had someone to talk to and all that. <laughs> um I think it's a good idea. I think the main places like the elves we should go but all the outskirts if anyone wanted to go there I think might be a good idea for them to go then or someone who knows the area and Ren you think it's a, a bad idea to go to sick edge so far it's pretty cute how you tried to say that but um oh, I, 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 <laughs> as it was coming out it was like it was like yeah <laughs> It's pretty good. Um, yes. It's a bad idea. I can go. I will go, no problem. But um, I don't want to, but I can. What if you and John don't went? I think what that if would I stabbed you in the eyeball? <laughs> I, think, oh, I, think I think one of the two of them would end up as a body on the side of the road. I think as soon as yeah, they're out of eyesight of sanctuary, something bad would happen. <laughs> yeah, it's something that I said, and then yeah, I I see it now. Yeah. But okay, uh, just uh, throwing something out there. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe uh, we could always maybe. split up again. It's no problem. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but it sure has been nice to be together when uh, you know, fights. I can't heal everybody if they're not in my area. You guys like to, you know, get hurt. A lot. Injury I know guys. it's the job. But still. That was good shit. <laughs> <laughs>
So, why don't we have a lark talk to the, at least get the idea into the heads of the guild masters, guild leaders, uh, for a meeting. And we hit up either Termina or Parisia. Parisia is closer. It makes yes. more sense to go closer and then it around. Does. But whatever you want. That's my vote. Uh, to for Asia. Okay. Okay. Um, for Asia it is. Um, so for your first leg, we'll have a name accompany you. Who? No, I'll wait. I can't, I can't leave yet. <laughs> no, 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 I don't mean right now. I don't mean you're not leaving today. You are you know, forcing you me out. Your, I am not ready. You, you, you get, you're going to get your rest. Oh, and, I don't care about that. It's something else. Um, but yeah, we don't need to leave today. Um, we're going to get everything prepped and so you'll leave you know, in a week. And then you'll beat feet. Um, um, a couple of things. <laughs> One. One. How confident am I that the energy sucker will not be born when I am not here? Hmm. How much do you think Rin knows about childbirth? Okay, then um, make make a make a medicine check. I mean, she she understands the concept, but she just she doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Basically, medicine. Know, I just, yeah. Well, fourteen. Fourteen. With what you know about childbirth being a woman, and with what Kirashio told you, you're not sure. It, he he said it seemed like he still had a couple months at at the minimum. <laughs> He's getting pretty big every time we go away. I don't. Okay, and number two. Two. Um, would who is the one that we used or asked to send messages to and from before? This is a group question. In the san in the in sanctuary, Do you, does anybody remember? Uh, we didn't have a sending stone. Was it um, Kirashio or maybe Alaric? We've only like, really had one person uh, other than Val with Ascending Stone, but that was temporarily. I think that was when we were in the Goblin Cave. We've always had someone else do like a sending for us. Right, okay. Until we got Zaz, because I think he's the only one who eventually is going to be able to do that. No, I can't. I've got the spell. Yeah. Okay. So I'm the one who's been doing it recently, but I can only send stuff to people I've met. Oh, it's just not... This, this is something she would not ask you to do, ever. Um, <laughs> I, I do not feel comfortable leaving if Celine is going to pop that thing out. Can you maybe look at the sheep? Or figure it out or something? Um, I could try. I'd have to go look at some books, though. Or find someone who can maybe tr teach me? Don't know. I thought you knew about the medicine stuff. Oh, medicine, sorry. I, th I thought you were talking about the uh, message again, sorry. Um, yeah, medicine, I could... What specifically would you like? If the thing is going to shoot out while we are gone. I don't know what's in there, but I can try. It's a, it's a you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, 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 it's a baby, but it's growing up quite quickly. So I don't know what type of baby. Different races and species produce differently. I'd have well, to find out what it is first. Well, apparently this one is 
this one is pretty different, seeing as how it just <clears throat> gets ginormous every time we leave the room. Yes. Um, but I, unless I she tells us what it is. Or we have some way of looking at it. It's it's half half of the elf and half of the, you know, the dead yeah, guy. Yeah, it just, I don't understand it. But I could go take a look and try and figure it out. Yes. But was it conceived while the guy was dead or while he was alive? He's not actually dead. That's just what I call him. <laughs> <laughs> no, like Zaz is asking, like, because that mm -hmm. could make a difference on what to Zaz, do. Zaz would not know about really about Ryan, so. Nope. He's dead in Rin's brain, even though he's still alive. <laughs> oh, still alive. Okay. Yeah. So no she just involved wants here. him okay, dead. That, that that eliminates a lot of really yeah. weird Rin stuff. Rin wishes him happen. dead, so to her, he's dead. He might as well be. Yes. But it matters in this case. Anyway. Yeah. He's top of her uh, kill list, because I know she has one. So why is that so special? hundred percent she has one. <laughs> <laughs> Daggers and all the eyes, because she definitely has pictures. Maybe I can help with any magical source of something. I don't know. Oh, it's okay. Has, has anybody done, like, detect magic in the presence of the pregnant lady? Uh, I think Orion would have. Nope, that's not true. Sorry. Kyoroshio. Kyoshio, that guy, right. if he was on premises, we would have already killed him. But it, it, it's on sight. Yep. I've already said at the second I see that guy. But we haven't done it since we came back, so we we're gone a little bit. We could always try again. Well, I might as well. Yes. The more information we have, the better. So if we go into the pregnant lady, mm -hmm. um, her name I is Celine. Do, it's in, go into Celine, and we. <laughs> And I cast detect magic. Like, what kind of aura am I getting from her pregnant belly, if anything? I mean, I'm trying to think because you definitely detect magic. Well, yeah. Sure, but like, I would I'm, block out other things in the area and like focus on Celine and her 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 pregnant. Yeah, I just I I, I I can't think of like it, it wouldn't be a school of magic. It would just be a, a magical. It, well, I'm it gonna roll an arcana and roll horrible and get a ten, which means it's Even magic. Better, it, it's magic. <laughs> but like, well, like I know magic. Like magic let, you know lets you figure out like which school of magic, but it's not like the baby's made from a school of magic. Um, right, it could just be all kind of jumbled up and. Do we have like a? That, so, would we know if we have like a paladin on site? Alaric. Uh, can we have him go uh, detect uh, Fey fiend undead or Fey? Mm. Ooh, that's a good question. Mm. Um, if uh, if Rin is amenable to it. Uh, Rin would never leave him alone with her ever. None of you are alone not alone, with Celine. Ever. No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't say alone. Oh but yeah, no, she's she's right on to... him, and she's watching. She'll watch everything that happens. She'll yeah. explain it to Celine like super. Yeah, I don't know again, if in a tone Sticks, that nobody has yeah. heard her speak before. I'm um, per yeah. I'm pretty sure Sticks wouldn't know that he could do that, but Brandon knows he could do that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we know he's a paladin. Yeah, I don't think Styx would have a clue what he can do, though, at all, magic-wise. No. Nope. I think Rin has some sort of idea that he, he can do more yeah. things than he lets on, for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, was it Detect Fiend Foe? Well, yeah, whatever his uh, ability is. I yeah. can't remember exactly what the Paladin is. I think it's, I know the, it's Infernal the Sense or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have stuff pulled up. Okay. Any, any sense? Well, I, I, I'm telling you, my computer is a dick today. Yeah, it's it, his it's divine been sense. been good for the last couple sessions, so yeah. it, it was due to happen. Um, uh, yeah, Celestial Fiend Undead, not Fae. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I kind of yeah, divine sense. Yeah, that that yeah. that's why I need to know because I can't remember. So, uh, yeah, Faye is. Uh, there's a different one for Faye. Hold on. Oh, it's um, Blood Hunters have that one. That's what I was thinking. Uh, for Hunter's Bane. Divine Sense, he will detect Celestial. Okay. Great. Well, Ren. But that's it, why we're uh, not too sure. So when he, but when he does this, uh -huh. um, oh, um, knowing where I'm from, would I have any bonuses for like history or medicine? Or anything like that to give insight onto what might possibly be going on. I had it thought of that. Uh, or or Cricks. Either one of us mm -hmm. with our backgrounds. I had not thought of that. Well <clears throat> Hmm. I mean, as far as far, as far as like when you when you cast the detect magic, it's there's a magical being growing inside of that. Mm -hmm. um, with the Laryx thing, it's there's it, there's something <laughs> growing inside of her. It doesn't seem malicious. Um, he does not use the term celestial. Uh, oh, okay. That. It, Celestial would be a new term to the world, so. Okay, all right. Um, That's fine. With. Yeah, yeah. I, I would yeah, say celestial is a new term to the world. Okay. Yeah, depending on what Alaric would tell us, I would uh, just have to hazard a guess on the growth to see if I could figure out how soon it's going to happen. Because Styx has gone through a lot of births, but mostly animals. <laughs> um, She's Styx had her hands do, up a right. lot of... Um, Styx, you, you do a mess and, and do, do it with advantage. Okay. Eight's not gonna do it. <laughs> Eight. Um, she's gonna give birth with in the next while. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll just say it, she was this big the while? last time we were here, when and it, now she's this big it. with an eight freaking. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it could be tomorrow. It could be six <laughs> months from now. Yeah, I'll pretty much just go, she was this big, and now she's this big. So when she gets this big, when When Kirashio, when Kirashio, if you go and talk to Kirashio, he's Yeah, I would go, immediately. He's <laughs> going to tell you, it's, it's, it, it might happen quicker than we expect, but as of right now, I would estimate three to four months. So probably one. <laughs> so the real answer is in two weeks. So we'll probably be fine hitting up one place. Maybe two. Especially the one that's close. Uh, yeah. What was that one for? For Asia. And for you could Asia, always have Curatio um, give you updates. Yep, you can get a sending daily. No, I'll give gonna, him a stone. I don't. I'm gonna go AFK. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Then yes, the I will, I will count take, the seconds. I will take a Lardic sending stone, and I will give one to. You. If he doesn't have the ability to, I'll give it to Celine. Like leave it in the room so that he can get a hold of me. Uh -huh. um, the send, sending stones with. Alaric is going to get you sending stones essentially to distribute as you go and for yourselves. So that way, 
you can stay in contact. That's part of the reason why you're going to leave in a week because it's going to take some time to get the stones. Okay. I mean, I could just burn a spell every day. We don't need a sending stone if I've met the I person. prefer not to. <laughs> yeah. During this week, Tom is going to have something for Alaric at some point. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to request, like, kind of like a private little, um, like, prayer session. With uh, with Alaric, wherever there's a little shrine to the God of Light, I thought there was one. Yeah, he has a he, yeah he has a small one. I'm set up. So you're wanting to do a prayer session with him, yeah. or yeah? So I mean, you would, that's that's what Tom's requesting, and yeah. Um. Uh, are you are, are are you asking for for a secret room? Or... No, 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 no. Okay. Just uh, like a a prayer session with him, and then at some point during that, that would be the real request. But at some point during that, he would um, uh, he'd start to talk to Alaric and would say, uh, um, uh, "Alaric, I I don't want to interrupt, but." Uh, I, I do have something on my mind. Yeah. Um. I've uh. I don't know if I've mentioned this to you, but um, things have really escalated since uh, where they first were. I've I've seen them in a vision. I I I saw that the God of Light, and they they spoke to me. Roll an insight. Mm-hmm. That's a nine. Okay. Um, so you you saw the God of Light. Well, it was it was fascinating, and it, and I have heard that, that everybody has. You know, many people have have different relationships with uh, gods. It's uh, something Stick said, but I, uh, yeah, I, I saw. I couldn't quite make out anything in, in particular. I don't think they wanted me to see, but I, I could see. Um, there was this this beautiful, brilliant, like a purple in their eyes. It was something I've, I've never gotten it out of my head, and obviously the light. One time. That's it. Um, I mean, Tom, I will tell you, I have I have not heard of the God of Light uh, appearing before anyone. Well, I... The thing is, I... I uh, I'm, I'm still a little surprised about it, but I'm also... Not, I mean, they were clear that um, they want something different from from me. They they want. Um, they said specifically, and what I wanted to ask you about. They said that uh, they didn't need me to be a a, a priest in this moment. They they needed a a, a champion, and that's what the the word they use, champion. Uh, I, I I haven't known what to make of it. Hmm. And 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 you seem like a, a champion uh, in one way or another for for the God of Light, and so I, I just I figured I would ask you. Well, if you think back to some of the principal teachings, Tom, you know one of the things is to. Uh, let the let the light wash over you and bathe in its radiance. 
Yes. That's not something you need a champion for. That's something you need compassion for. Uh, yes, but uh, and, and I'm not one to doubt their their power. I, whew, I mean, we both know nothing's more powerful than the God of Light. But uh, for whatever reason they had, that's the word they choose. They chose a, a champion. Uh, and I've just been thinking about how to how to be that. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, and th th this is me asking. So, mm -hmm. are you going to while you're doing this? Are you telling Alaric about? the new principles that you're learning or anything like that? Not unless it comes, not unless he's asking about it. Tom's really just curious about this. He sees Alaric as like strong and like a champion. And he sees like, he's curious about this one particular word and how to interpret it. Well, Tom, Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing I can think that Alaric will, will tell you is to go back to the principal teachings, go back to the original commandments, go back to the, the peaceful, loving God of light that you were originally taught. Mm. So, uh, yeah, and that's all he'll say? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, so Tom would go from, he'd be listening, and he would go from really earnest to, like, if Alaric was paying attention, his face would totally change, and he would be kind of, like, happy-go-lucky, and he's like, well, I think that'll do it for me. Um, I uh, might go clear my head in some other ways, and uh, very helpful, as always, very, very... Uh, like the sage you are, Alaric. Um, but uh, I, I'll see you around. And he'll fairly have, quickly move on. Have a good day, Tom. Yes, yes, you too, of course. And thank you for the advice. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Anything else? Questions for Lark? Um, Neum, considering you will be traveling with her. I don't think so. Um, okay. Sticks does have a lot of things she'd like to do before the weekends, though. Mm hmm. Um. First off, all the chalk that she has bought. Mm -hmm. She needs a large wall. Want. Somewhere. Um, like an empty wall so she can draw um, the red dragon. So everybody knows what it looks like. Uh, she wants to also, mm. on that wall, draw pictures of everyone she knows of to be an enemy. So people, when they pass it, will know exactly who they're looking for. Um, and also for her barn that's miraculously being built outside for her, she's going to draw a diagram of what she wants it to look like, uh, tape it to one of the pillars and give the pillar a hug. <laughs> okay. Um, that's what she eventually wants. Okay. Let me... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, let's roll. You're 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 gonna be able to draw this in the main hall in in the dining hall. Okay. Uh, just because I really like that. Yeah. Let's roll performance to see okay. how well you draw. Okay. 
Okay, so while Stix is doing that, mm -hmm. is Stix including the God of Courage Ooh. on that wall? Uh, As 20... an enemy? As an enemy, yes. It's a 28. Um, yeah, with a 28. I mean, you can... It's a fucking... <laughs> Like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, uh, with a with a twenty eight, you, you blow it out the water. Okay. Roll the nat nineteen plus guidance and plus plus five. Yep. No, uh, the detrigen is not uh, would not be on the list of enemies for sticks. Could Zaz suggest that they be added, or if not? Add them himself. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, you would essentially be drawing. It's like. I mean, it's like drawing God. You don't really know what God looks like. Uh, sure. It would be like a. Like kind of a, a being shrouded in light, like holding his sword before it broke. Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Now that yes, um, that you, you can easily do. If you brought it up, I would definitely help. That, that you can week. easily do. And and, and uh, Zaz, you go ahead and roll me a performance and roll it with advantage. Sorry, because... is this on the enemy wall? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, roll it with advantage. Oh crap! That's an eight. <laughs> so you get Great. a stick figure <laughs> with a sword. <laughs> you get a stick figure with a sword and write detriment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it, Zaz. We'll, we'll look through some books and find an actual picture. Then we'll update it. Like, I'll draw it first on paper and be like, I want to add this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm not. My dice are not being for, nice to me today. You threw me for a loop there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you get that drawn out. Um, Valentia, I'm going to assume that you're doing more recruit training through the week. Somebody's got it. Um, you rolled you roll well enough to do good on that. You, you see a couple more um, potential prospects in it. You know, these are people that will be good ground fighters. I try them out with different weapons. Swords, hammers, axes. I feel like uh, Crix would also be helping with the... Yeah. And, like, training the wolf dude. Um, yeah, I'm... I, I'm, I'm, I'm also I'm gonna... Left, I'm left Menlo's out since Crix isn't here, is yeah. all it is. But, yeah, Cri I think that's a good Menlo's way to say... Menlo's iron tooth, yeah. Yep. And I'd any say, of the hand-to-hand -hand <laughs> fighting, I'm going to have Iris join. You're going to what? Uh, Iris is going to join in all the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, hey. uh, my kangaroo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I'm going to tell her to go watch and learn. Oh my god. Jump rat. <laughs> okay. Um, here's the question. Does anyone uh -huh. want to box the kangaroo? I feel like sure. Valentian would. Let me look this up. Don't don't be afraid of that animal. You could... This is completely random. I but... do have the stats here somewhere. I am pulling them up now. They don't have it in fifth edition, but they uh they got a fifteen strength. They're not bad. They do their kick is a two d eight plus two. I'm thinking yeah. more this will be a skill check thing than a uh -huh. combat round. 
They have a plus four to athletics. Yep. I see it right here. So, uh, best out of three contested athletics. Could we swap acrobatics for that? If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna hit, I got a twenty-five. <laughs> um, Let's all yeah. box the thing. So uh, I got, uh, so I got a seven against Rin. So Rin beats the kangaroo. Obviously, and I'll go tag Still somebody healing. else in. <laughs> it's only his CR one. If we weren't outside, I would rage. But if I rage, I'm gonna be way too fucking big. <laughs> wow. You don't. Well, it, you don't. So, when you read the description of your ability, you can choose to get big or not. Yeah. This is just a tag team fight. Like they will always get big. Foster animal. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> trying to hurt it. Somebody said we've got to train the thing, so I'm going to try. <laughs> um, anyone else gonna fight? Gonna go against the kangaroo? Well, if the kangaroo is going to be joining in fights, then it should probably fight somebody who can dodge away from it. So it's got to be able to hit a moving target. Okay. Um, well, I, I got a 15 against your ac acrobatics. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm going to use my blade song, so I'm going to get advantage on it. <laughs> use magic against a kangaroo. But... <laughs> Okay. Uh, it does not say you choose. It says you become large. If there's room for it. Yep. It happens if the room is big enough. We can put you in a force cage that's not big enough. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, sticks. Uh-huh. what's your, so you're okay with this fight between the kangaroo and Random as long as people. she was okay with it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the can't... Well, actually, let's see. Like with my acrobatics, I'd be just, like, going in and just, like, you know, yeah. like... The kangaroo's having a good time. Yeah. It or whatever. Yeah. I told Not her at like, the beginning hey. she's here to protect the herd. Got the learn. vibes are good, Tom's gonna get sucked in. He's, he's gonna... <laughs> he's gonna tap in. If she, okay. uh... An anytime she starts to get hurt, I will definitely uh heal her but only her yeah, yeah you um, had to heal her after, after. yeah all right that's tom fine. athletics and athletics i've got 17 oh boy <laughs> go tom 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 gets excited six. with like this kind of like toddler energy and runs in with a six in athletics to <laughs> fight this kangaroo. Tom runs straight forward and the kangaroo leans back on its tail and, get, and kicks him away. Whoa! Well done! Um, maybe we should be doing this with Tom more. <laughs> I think I found my match. Yeah. Uh, kangaroos also, if they grapple you, get a bonus action with an extra attack. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that was our completely random. <clears throat> yep. Well, Val, are you doing this or no? Let me finish this message. I'll give her a hug and uh, tell her to go do some laps. <laughs> Hit the shower. <laughs> yep. One for two, not bad, rookie. Bill's turn. Do I see anywhere to contain my size? <laughs> no, this is completely out of but... Like, I'll just do it straight. Good choice. You go ahead and do it straight, and you tell me what you do, because I rolled a nat one for the, the kangaroo. <laughs> I rolled a five, but it's a thirteen. It's <laughs> funny. I lay this jump rat on its ass. It kicks Tom. I feel like I feel like Valentine kicks the kangaroo in the same fashion. Oh no! I punch it straight in the jaw. He, he leans back <laughs> on his bunny's tail and double kicks the, Kick. the jump rat, or he comes in with a flying <laughs> double kick like WWE. WWE, yeah. 
You're too angry, Val. I, it kind of felt like a, a cage match anyway. All right, I'm out. Go in. <laughs> Nobody hurts my wee friends. Not even a jump rat. <laughs> How you feeling, Tom? No, oh, I'm... I mean, I'm not going to lie. He, he hit pretty hard, but uh, it's, you know... it's She's getting there. Nah, Day one. It's still fun. I just... Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about me, Val. It's, I was asking for it, literally. I just... I ran in there. I don't know what I was thinking. You must be taking some lessons for me and my rage. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, I'll just for this week. Uh, no, that's I think all I got. Did you need me to do any roles for training the people, or anything for those prospects? Right, same thing for uh, Cricks. I'm sure she'd be in there helping to teach archery and stuff like that. Yeah, I check on the plants before. too, just to double check that it's still growing and everything's fine. Oh yeah, you're. And I would have, like, taken more soil up there, made it bigger, whatever I can, and, like, try to expand it so we have lots more. Because plant um, growth is, does wonders. The only thing, I, when it comes to teaching, the only thing I can really think for teaching is... And actually, you will say... We can we can call it athletics based charisma role. Um, for you to be able to, on how well you're teaching them. Straight roll this time? Straight roll. And it'd be the same for Crick. Natural twenty four or twenty eight. Woo. Well shit. <laughs> <laughs> um these Ooh. motherfuckers are learning everything. Mm -hmm. Pop gun sequence. Um, Time like, for hey, a training you're... montage. You've been teaching so well this week that even um, some of the less experienced, but still more experienced than the, the miners, have uh, have been coming to your lessons. And uh, did you roll for Cricks? Yeah, a 22 for Cricks. 22. Nice. Yeah. Midlos is doing really well. And then there's a couple other archers, but Midlos is doing really, really well. Ba -ba -ba. And then while we're waiting, Zaz is going to spend as much time as he can trying to learn or get the basics down for the teleportation circles spell. Cool. Um, yeah. We will say that you are spending some time with Jundal, who is Ren's favorite person in the world. <laughs> and... Um, and yeah, he'll he'll kind of walk you through the somatic components and everything, and explain like you know the spell is always the spell is always the same, except for the fact that when I mean, it's time for the destination, the, that is the only part that's going to change within the vocal um, component and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, as soon as you get the level for it, you will be able to cast the spell. He will spend enough time with you. He will also offer you the same thing that he offered Tom. And yeah, what's that? Um, to show you something fun. Show me something. No, I'm good. <laughs> good with I. I have to be in enough people's heads. I'm not super comfortable with people being in mine. I no problem. Get it. No problem. Yeah. But the offer still stands. But yeah. Um, 
Take it, take it, take it. By the yeah. way, off subject, that net 20 was rolled with the new 2024 Player's Handbook Barbarian Dice. Oh, nice. Oh, oh nice. Nice. I've seen better. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen better than the, the highest number you can possibly roll on a net 20. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's my highest roll so far this campaign. Yeah, I think so. It's also 228s today. Is it? Yep. My performance was a 28. Oh, yeah. yeah. With a non net 20. <laughs> okay. yeah. Gonna have some motherfuckers that know how to use weapons, I tell you what. Yep. They're all daggers, but yep. <laughs> I think with a 28, somebody Stunched. like looks at their hand and they cast yeah. a fireball and they're like, whoa, <laughs> what is that? What the hell? What's happening? I'm a sorcerer. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the other thing. Uh, sometime I probably would have spent out like testing some of the new recruits for arcane um, hmm. Allen or whatever to see if we could pull some at least low-level spellcasters out so they could help with something. Okay. Now that's where it gets interesting. I have been waiting oh. for it. Yeah, I don't think... Hand combat's not interesting yeah. enough for you, is it? Fucking scones. Hey, scones are good. As he pulls <laughs> the scones out of his pocket and starts chewing on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Sticks would have thought to look for if anyone has any druid potential. I don't think that's on her brain. That's more inherent and innate. innate. Um, well, especially considering your background, Zaz, I want you to do two rolls for me for this. One, roll an arcana. And two, roll a history. Okay. Well, they're the same thing. Same bonus. Um, let's see. It's the first one. Uh, Arcano is 14, and the history is 11. Yeah. My di Why are they working for other people, but not that? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. For me, okay. when digital fails, I just go to real dice. They do better. That's what I've, n neither one is working. I've switched back and forth. Um, Raz is just doomed to roll low today. You, you are a new... For his... Or something anyway but no that was for Griggs yeah you already knew that there wasn't anyone who could already cast spells um, you get the feeling that you could teach someone to cast spells okay at least cantrips and yeah with your two rolls that's so I'd say that you're able to find Mm, let's see. Or that somebody here at Sanctuary could teach to to learn a few cantrips, even if it's something simple like a a light spell or fish mm -hmm. <clears throat> You say fishbowl? You wouldn't understand. Okay. Um Yeah, um You feel like you could probably teach a cantrip to, from what you could tell, it looked like only two people really had even the slightest, slightest inkling. And then uh, probably spend a couple hours a day going over like basic magical theory in like a group setting. Cool. Uh, now, I will say this uh, you mentioned asking other members of Sanctuary to teach magic. Uh-huh. Who are you asking? Well, who's going to be here while I'm out? Um, pretty much. Try to recruit. Um, Kirashio's still going to be there. Depending on on time frame, Jonda's going to be there. Um, so, I would just... Time. I would just kind of pull in all the the magic users and just mm -hmm. be like, hey, anybody who's here, let's get a rotation or something so we can get these people trained up. 
like the more teachers they have, the better. Then they'll have more ways to think about it, mm -hmm. so they'll be able to catch it. Mm -hmm. So it'd be kind of a group effort kind of thing. Yeah, I would hope. Um, it will be the Larix blessing. <laughs> it will be now. What? Um, Kurashio is going to tell you is like I am. I, I am more than fine teaching some magic. Um, we need to. You know, you found these people. If you want me to help teach them, that's fine. You need to make sure that they understand that they're not to tell anyone where they learn magic from because they would be learning magic outside of the leagues. Okay. So if you're if you're wanting to do this, that's perfectly fine. You need to make a persuasion check. Need to make a persuasion check. All right. Um So and there's no way we could get someone from the league here to teach them? No, they don't essentially they they have to go to school. They have to and that takes years and years and years and years and years. Um. Okay. We'll do a perception roll. Let's let's try persuasion. We'll try it digitally. See what happens. Oh, this time it's a freaking net twenty. That's a twenty. <laughs> Good. Um. You feel very confident that they are going to keep their mouth shut. Well, I'll just. It's not even about that. Be like, look. There's these magic schools. You've probably heard of them. Um, basically, if you tell anybody you learned magic from somebody else, you're going to be in trouble. I don't know exactly what that involves, but it's trouble with a bunch of very powerful magic users. So, it's in your best interest, in your family's best interest, and Sanctuary's best interest for you to not say where you learned it. Mm hmm No problem. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, with your nat 20, you have them completely convinced um, that <laughs> they will keep their mouth shut. They are certainly... Like, more... basically, only only use it when we're in a guild setting. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're not trying to get fucked up here, so yeah. Cool. That did not go how I expected. But that was... That could have been very interesting. We could have had a bunch of wild magic users running around, casting magic all over the place. <laughs> yep. Nothing will go wrong. And Sanctuary would have been the rogue wizard school. <laughs> <laughs> That's an entirely different campaign, I'm sure. Uh, I already do that campaign. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, have we done our fighting montage, our training montage? And. Yeah. I don't think I have anything left. That I can think of. I messaged you. Yeah, that. Uh, would Zaz know of any organizations in the world that would be friendly to uh, <laughs> Dretanen's, um cause, I guess? that we would have a good chance of helping recruit for this. Um, so let me let me touch back on the history of it. So the Detrodin is dead. Right. Uh, 
so as far as worshipers, you don't have that many because it's a dead god. Um, oh, right, right. I'm talking about um, any other gods that were friendly to him or anything like that that Ooh. would still be in existence um, that Ooh. would want to help take out um, if I shared yeah. some information that I had with them that they might be willing to help out. Yeah. Um, well, give, give me one second. I need to look this up. I mean, we can... We can resolve it later. It's not a huge deal for right now, but like, um, just as knowledge going forward, I can send you a message if you want to look it up later. Well, I ask it here. Um, but a session ago, two sessions ago, when the diary was discovered, mm -hmm. um, Rin. Did you share what you the first stuff you went through? I can't remember. The stuff that is in available in OneNote is the stuff I shared, uh, including I put in there a little blurb about what I had run across. Yeah. Um, um, so, uh, if you diary entries and then it's skimming through the diary, um, that's what I found. But that's all I've shared so far. Uh, I read that thing like, like a romance novel almost. Like I just, I'm just <laughs> always, I'm just always reading it now. <laughs> so, okay, just making sure, um, and. So what Rin has shared here is that in the diary is a list of the names of the gods. It's and it's not like, you know, a list list. It's I I um but the gods' names are there throughout the diary is what I'm getting at. Um I don't have anything in there as far as Yeah, they're names but they're not as like far as names or titles. Mm -hmm. As far as what I, they know? No. Yeah. So I, like, I don't have anything in there for Detrid. Uh, I have a note. So um I do remember two things Sticks else also would do, but we'll do that after. Yep. After this line of talking is done, pretend that Val knocked on Alaric's door. Yep. Uh, it's fine. I can send it to you in a message, and we can go over it. Um, yeah. it's not, I don't think it's it's pertinent for right now for everybody, so we can move on to other stuff. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Uh, um, yes. May I come in and speak with you a moment, sir? Yeah, yeah, come on in. Rin and I have been talking a little bit, and we thought maybe with your blessing... Up this little screen. Her and I could travel to Sekaj Sovar alone, just her and I. It's cute how you tried to say that also. So cute. <laughs> um, I mean, if that's what you you two wish, then yes. Um, that is what we want. The only thing that we might need is for Karashio to Procure some extra healing potions since we won't have anyone to help with that while we're away. Uh, 
say that one more time. It broke up for me. The last part was, that is what we want. We would just might need Karashia to procure some extra healing potions since we won't have anyone to help with that while we're away. Yeah, uh, Karashia's been... Um, Fervently working at it? Yeah, he's been he's been brewing. Um, brewing like a motherfucker! <laughs> Um, yeah, um, if, if you and Ren want to go, I think that's fine. I would still, um, I would still suggest taking John to with you, but that's up to y'all. I think you already know how she's going to feel about that one. Yeah, yeah. Plus, she but thinks it'd be a lot safer for a tiny little group to go instead of many. But if you have two Dark Elves accompanying you compared to just one... So get a hold of terrain. Mm, I believe terrain's out doing his own thing. Still. You can still reach out and get a hold of him. We have a couple days before we leave. Okay. Uh, roll persuasion. Ooh. Nope. That is a whole five. Nope. <laughs> Said he's he's going to just flat, just very dead handily refuse. And say no. I'm not, I will not contact you right. Well, then the two of us are going to be going alone. They'll have to let Horatio know so we know how many potions we are taking with us. Okay. That will be fine. Um, yeah, well... You'll just have to let us know when you plan on going. Probably leave the same time as the other group, just the other oh, so, way. Oh, so you're going to completely split. Got you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Um, Why would we make it easy for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll have po we'll have potions for you for you, for you and the party. Uh, ready by then. Um, Zaz, because now I understand your question. Um, so seeking out Kira's soul this diary is old um, this diary is a relic this diary is by what you can tell before the war of the gods sure so but that name also lines up with information I had garnered before mm -hmm. I came to this world. Mm -hmm. so that's I why. Know. I know. I'm just. I'm. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm. stating out. Stating out facts here. Um, roll. Like even if, even if it doesn't come up right now, even if it's something that we come across later. Um, whatever. I've now seen the name. Yeah. In multiple places, so yep. my curiosity is piqued, and so I guess it's something I'd be looking for. If I don't know anything about it now, um, I guess every new place we go, I'll start inquiring or looking for knowledge or whatever on Akira. <clears throat> yep. Um, let's see. Um, let's roll... Intelligence, investigation. Yeah, let's roll investigation. Um, I think that's a good roll. Yeah, kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
on. Like I get one roll. Uh, this was a five, so it's a nine. Okay, um, that's that, that's fine. With, with the context of the backstory and everything, like you're you're you're, you're going to keep a, eyes and ears out for Hero Soul, but nothing's, right. nothing's poked out at you yet. And that's fine. I haven't been, I haven't been, actively searching for that name up until yeah. after we got this diary and I saw the name again. Yeah. Um. I currently have that diary. Right. <laughs> I mean, but so, uh, yes, he would have seen it in the beginning for sure when I showed it. But. Um. Right. As of right now, for the for. Mathurian. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't see, and I, I, you don't see any groups. Um, I'll I'm gonna throw this into the diary later. If I don't forget. Okay. Um, I'll throw a Mathurian thing in there since you will now, since you are actively looking through him. Okay. Um, so, and Rian. I just wanted to make a point of saying that uh, also sometime during this week, uh, I will be beginning to teach Sticks some conversational or very beginning under common words. Yeah. Ooh. Um, like that's that. mainly because Styx has Celestial as a language, and if there isn't any, this is a good way to change it. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, I didn't realize he had Celestial <laughs> that's as a okay. language. Yeah. yeah, and I've actually asked her a few times, so this kind of works out for us. Yeah, especially since I speak it a lot. Yeah. And the other thing Styx wants to do... Uh, she's gonna mail another fifty gold home, uh, fifty gold home to mom, uh, with a lovely letter of what she's been doing and pictures of all her animals, um, and pictures of all her friends, um, and Jub- jubilee, yeah. Hmm. That's jubilee. Uh, I believe. So. Jubilee and Fandril is what I believe you said your parents. I believe are. that's the names. <laughs> They're in my notes somewhere. It's yes. Definitely in my notes. <laughs> As I'm hoping I got it right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and at the beginning of the week, uh, she would remember the uh, dragon scales that she grabbed. She wants to give mm-hmm. to the blacksmith to see if she can, if he could make armor for her with them. Because mm-hmm. she's been getting a hit a lot. Too. Okay, yeah. Uh, she doesn't like metal, but scales are okay. Yeah. I think... Because well, I grabbed a lot. Let's test this out. It probably took Ooh. a while. Yeah, but you will... You will uh, I rolled a natural 19 for, <laughs> for if he'd have it. Okay. For you. He's going to have it for you by the end okay. of the week. Perfect. Yeah. I think that was my list. Completely random question, kind of. Yeah. How long has it been since I received the will? Oh, man. Um, In game time. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't think it's even been a full... I think we're almost at a full month. I, don't think it's I was thinking, yeah, yet. two and a half weeks. Three weeks. About yeah, three, three weeks. weeks max. Okay. Did you try to collect your rent already? <laughs> okay. But anything else? Don't think so. Right. So I 
think we're going to call it a little bit early on on today. I've been a little bit frazzled anyway. Um, we tend but, to do that to you sometimes. No, it, well, that, that, <laughs> that, that, yeah, y'all did a couple things, but the computer thing really had me. Yeah, I know. For the first That's hour. Um, you have all week to play around. You, you have a whole week to play around. We're going to we're going to pick up the session right pretty much right before you leave off. Hello. Beautiful. Okay, I'll let uh, Beth know so that she can send any messages or anything that of what Crix would have been doing other than helping train some of the new recruits. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have her do that in character chat, I guess. That way we can everybody can kind of get a sense of where they might have seen her during the week. Yeah, that won't be any problem. Sounds good. 